so this would be video uh, our day 14 in the uh, servo motion project that we're doing and this is again a 30-day project that we're going to go from start to scratch to pick back up where we left off uh, on day 13 you know we did uh, came back and basically got our state machine working in full function um, we may add a couple more elements to it but it, it, the base foundation is in there so if we were to look at uh, go back to uh, machine control and go back to where we do our start and stop from our HMI at the current state we're in if we started it you would see everything start up and if we came back and stopped it because everything if you notice everything is running right now depending upon the draw that it's at uh, on the you know going off the virtual master uh, if we hit stop right now then everything should stop right and again that's going that's feeding the state machine so that's feeding uh, all this logic you know, basically coming out and going through the uh, array that we set right so we, we understand how we did the array and um, the indirect address and through that uh, to feed the uh, the state machine which is based on uh, a if then else function uh, it, but it's a, it's also has a it's the main component is a case so it's a combination of a case function and a, and a uh, if else if then and else function and, and basically that's just the foundation of uh, of a good solid state machine so uh, without further ado I just want, kind of want to go over go over where we were on day 13 uh, this is day 14 we will start back with our HMI so um, to kind of get off the program uh, ACD file and get onto the more um, uh, graphical side of things we need to set up some more of our back plane on, on our, our, our graphical side so today uh, we want to be going in and adding our macros and our client keys okay so what we'll do um, and we need to make our a couple displays real quick uh, so we'll just throw it in and and, and uh, basically add in a couple display options so uh, we want our display to basically be a uh, kind of fit today's computer right <clears throat> 1280 by, by uh, well it's not really today's computers it's, it's more or less today's uh, like first reviews and stuff like that like HMI stations so that's like a uh, generally speaking if you're if you're below factory top 9 then you you're going to be stuck at 1280 by uh, 1024 so just note that right just know that that's going to happen uh, we want to resize scale uh, we want to come in here and take these two off the we don't really want to use the menu or the uh, system menu or the minimize button we want to actually uh, size based upon the main menu of the runtime in, in that terms, that means if you have an HMI, like a Versa View attached to it, it will size to that. If you have, uh, if we run it on the PC, it will actually size to the PC. So, um, kind of clarify that. And always, you know, most of the time on, on new screens, you want to, to do a replace. So, um, just setting the back plane up on that. And we are going to use the tracking feature. Uh, and this would be the, like, main screen you don't have to put that in uh, it, it'll track based upon the name okay so now let's expand that out to where we were to kind of get the full screen I'm not gonna actually do this screen today um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait back come back and, and do the screen later but I want to lay in my foundation of a couple a couple screens that I'm gonna be putting in Okay, that's good enough. All right. Okay, so save, and then we'll call this the main splash screen. 
So this will be the screen we pop up when we actually uh, pull up our, our make our macro. Um, <clears throat> you know, we'll come back and we need to put a header in here too. Um, I'm not sure. Just for a second time, let's just go ahead and set up the macro, and we'll we'll name we'll rename the ma the macro um, screen. Like we'll put a placeholder in right now, and then we'll come back and put that in later. So um, first and foremost, let's do the client keys. So you know I've kind of touched touched on this before. Um, adding a client keys. Um, so basically, you want to add your key, right? Um, So you want to come down here, and in my sake, I'm going to use <clears throat> use Q, and then Shift. So we want to do Control. You want to do Control Shift Q, and that will basically uh, give me a shutdown, right? So we want to name it, name it, close. And if I could spell this morning, we'd be good. Um, so close and so that gives you your client key that's how to set up your client key when you if you're not familiar with client keys that's basically if your if your HMI client runtime is, is actually running and you want to have the ability to shut it down and not have just a, a random button hidden on the, the screen that nobody can see but you or somebody you know something of that nature <clears throat> if you wanted to, to have an easy way to do that so the client keys are there the option right so you basically you would click with what we just set right sorry with what we just set if we added a new right well we're not finished with this one so we can't but you've seen what we did right we, we said we want to use the letter Q we want to use control we want to use shift and then we'll shut down so at that point you know as as we we push those three characters together uh, it was it's gonna we're gonna say it's gonna close we want to go ahead and press an action so we want to make action happen in this instance what we want to do is we want to come back in and do come down to logic and controls and in display uh, display client we want to close right here it says you can open a client you can close the client we want to close the client so we want to be able to shut down current display file name um, <clears throat> current display is fine so at that point we have our client keys made we click OK save changes uh, to untitled uh, uh, let's see we want to what to be able to name it so let's name it uh, Let's just name it uh, client. <clears throat> Sorry, like abbreviated client keys or something. So let's go client, and then we'll just put keys, right? So now we have our macro, which looks just, just like what we set up. Or I'm not sorry. I'm sorry, not our macro. Our our client keys, and then we want to go ahead and do our macro, right? Okay, so in this instance, it's going to automatically pop up that it's created today, All right? And what this does is, you know, adding this characters in front of what, what you're saying right here is basically blocking the system from issuing a command. If I should, you know, if that kind of clears up things. So first, we want to come in here and add our own comment. So we want to set up the, the client keys as it starts, as the client starts. So after we have that, uh, basically we want to come back in and, and uh, <clears throat> you know, start our displays. But we want to go ahead and that was just a comment we put right here, right? So. Uh, just kind of a placeholder for somebody to come back and say, okay, well, kind of understand what we did, why we did it. To actually in initiate the client keys, you put key, and then you would put your, obviously, what we named it. And then make sure you put a, close it out, All right? So in the next instance, what we're going to do is we're going to display the scratch, uh, splash screen. 
So display. Actually, we're not going to comment this one. We can. I mean, we can come back and say uh, display main screen on startup. Need to indicate client startup. Okay, so we could do that if we wanted to. Again, that's just a comment, so keep that in mind. The real work is right here. Uh, display. And again, if I could type, that would be great. Uh, so display, and what do we call? We called our, our uh, Nexus right here. Main splash screen. So main splash screen. close it out and then come back and, and we're going to add some more functions right so we're going to have a uh, so we're going to have a header so what we'll do is we'll put a comment we'll say uh, display header let's see client header that was just a comment so you know, like I said, it's uh, as far as that goes, that, that is what it is. Um, you know, it's just a comment. It doesn't actually do a function. And we'll come back and and add the uh, the. This is going to be a placeholder for now because we don't have actually have it built, but we will. So display and then come back. <clears throat> and this is just like pulling up another display, right? So display, and then we'll call this like Z header, uh, just to keep as a placeholder, and then close it out. Okay. So what we want to do in the, in the meantime between these two <coughs> is we want to add a pause because we don't want them having, we don't want them, I guess, trying to start at the same time. We want to give the the process uh, a methodical way to start. So we want to start this, the main screen and then pause for say one second right uh, so pause for one second uh, then come back in here and we want to do the same thing down here and we'll pause for one second again so what will happen is that the client keys will start immediately the display screen the splash screen will start immediately the graphical side of things as soon as we start entering the, the when the screens pop up and start making like the HMI the layout you want to be kind of methodical about that. You want to say, okay, well, the splash screen's first, then pause it, and then come back and put your your header in, you know, and then come back and do, you know, whatever. So in this case, our whatever is going to be um, log in the operator into the system, and that's just a comment. So. Again, it's just to keep our placeholder where we are, our, our indication. So in login, you're going to actually, your your start is, is login. And then in our case, our, oper our, our operator, we, we just named it something simple, right? Operator, and then the, the so what you're going to do is you're going to put in the, the username. And then directly behind that, you want to put in the user password, so operator. We just named it. I, we we kept it the same name. Uh, so, uh, in the instance of our our uh, our users and stuff of that nature, we we basically said well the operator is going to be the username and the operator operator is going to be the password for the user for that user. So operator has a password of operator. So this basically will close out the. Um, the starting macro of what we want to do and to like again to kind of go through this um, set your client keys that we made down here so you're able to, to shut down the client as it's running if you have to edit it or if you have to do anything of that nature or for whatever reason the second thing is we, we displayed our, our main screen we pause the system for one second we display the second scar the uh, header screen and then we pause again and then we come back in and after our header is made 
we want to log in the, op the operator. Now that you'll see the reason why I'm doing this, this pause in a little bit because or in the next couple videos, it's basically because in this header screen, I'm going to build in some, some VBA code to say, okay, well, um, there's going to be a button on there that, that basically allows you to sign in the, um, it, it, like advanced administrator or an operator. And it, this is going to rely on this system working correctly. So this is kind of all tied together in a little bit, but um, the, for the base of this video, uh, especially because we just hit our 15 minute mark, uh, for the base of this video, uh, you know, so basically we, we learned how to make our client keys. We kind of, we went ahead and made them. Uh, we learned how to make our first macro. Uh, what we want to do is save that macro now. And what we'll do is we'll call it client start. And again, my fingers are not working correctly. So, okay, so in our system, which, you know, uh, is not really, I mean, this is like, again, foundational stuff, right? So it's not the, uh, not the nuts and bolts to get an HMI running, but it is what ties everything together to make a fully running healthy system. We have our client keys. We have our macro. Uh, so we, we have our client keys that we added. We added our macro. And so, so far that was the two things that I wanted to go over on this video and we fit our time. And we've also, you know, kind of, kind of touched on a few more things. So, uh, what this is is, is uh, closing out day 14. We'll, we'll pick back up on day 15 and make our, our header bar. We'll make our, our footer bar. And then we'll probably come in and, and uh, add a footer, you know, as far as that goes, uh, into our macro. Um, you know, we'll come back and, and kind of play with that. You kind of see the basics of, basis of how to set that up if you need to. So we'll go ahead and, and start that process. Okay, so uh, again, thank you for your time, and I'll put this, the, the prior videos in the show notes below in case you want to you know, backtrack and look at what we did yesterday or the day before or whatever. I don't know what you, know, where, what you might be like picking up on this in, in like midstream or, or may have watched it from day one. But uh, anyway, I appreciate your time, and I appreciate your, you know, your support, and uh, thank you again for watching the video.